guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Liz Nkosi if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so today I'm going to be talking about budgeting and saving money how to budget and save money as a student okay I know it can be very very difficult to save money as a student especially if you don't have multiple income that you receive every month so yeah we will be talking about the tips on how to save money so the first thing that you need to be or you need to know you need to be punctual or you need to be disciplined or you need to be consistent it's very very important to be disciplined you need to know that like every single month you have money that you are putting away or you are saving for you and if you are not consistent with saving up you'd like end up not seeing where your money goes because that month you have money that you're putting away the other month you don't feel like putting money away or you feel like you've got a lot of things to do so i kind of feel like it's very important to be disciplined in such a way that like you know that it's important for you to put away money that you are saving the second thing that you can have you need to use cash rather than debit card or credit card it's important that you use cash because you can see where your money goes and you can see how much are you left with you know because it's something that's tangible it's not like your credit card where you just swipe your money and you don't see your money how much money are you left with and again when it comes to swiping you have uh, bank charges that also it's away your money so I kind of feel like when you have cash it's easier for you to use your money I know it's not safe to carry cash around but if you kind of feel like it's convenient for you you can do it but again if you feel like using your debit card rather than having cash it's convenient for you you can go for it for me i prefer to have my debit card with me because i kind of feel like it's convenient for me and the shops or the people around me who sells most things they don't accept debit card they usually accept cash so for me it's easier when i am using my debit card and not having cash with me because it helps me to be uh disciplined when it comes to saving money you need to save unexpected cash usually when people it's their birthdays their friends would usually um gifts them with money so i kind of feel like such money that you get unexpected that's the money that you can use to save up for because you'd be hyped up oh i just got money and then you start using it and spending it so i kind of feel like it's important that like you get used to just like saving money that you get randomly that's what i do if someone like give me cash I usually save it like it's not in me to like use that cash that was given to me unexpected I usually like save it away I don't know why but like I just save it away unless if I know that like I have extra savings for extra stuff and then that's when I can use it but it's not in me to just use money that was like given to me I kind of feel like I just have it and be like let me just appreciate having money that is that i didn't work for or that someone just gave it to me so it's important that like sometimes you do save up that money that you get unexpected another thing that you can do you can sell your old test books if you were doing your first year your freshers year or your second year or your third year and you are done with the yeah i know it's important to keep your test book because you will need to refer back to them but if you were writing all your notes and everything you don't have to worry about your test book you can like resell them again to other people so you can get your money back i kind of feel like it's very very important to sell your test book to other people it will just like help you to save up money another thing that you can do you can uh instead of buying new textbooks 
you can check for free online test book there are websites that you can use to download test books if the test book is not available on any of the websites another thing that you can do you can like ask your course mates or your, your classmates to take pictures of their test book and then you just have your notes written down instead of like going through the process of just buying a whole test book because i know test book can be very very expensive so it's important for you that like you either look for this online test book that are free that won't need you to sign up for them or for you to purchase a test book online just look for the free websites if you don't find any and there's there are no test book on any of the free website you can just like take pictures from your classmates test books that would like really really help you a lot another thing that you can do you can take an advantage of student deals i would see like some shopping uh stores uh they would have like student deals where like they do uh, discounts for students or they do uh, specials for students on certain items so I feel like you can take advantage of those and you can get yourself up to 20% discounts when you're buying as a student I've seen a lot of shops who do that like pick and pay they do offer student discounts especially when it comes to electronics like your laptops your computer your printers all those things that are student uh, need, all those things that students need, you can take advantage of those discounts. So it will help you a lot when it comes to saving up. Even if it comes to grocery, make sure that you buy things that are on special or are on discounts. Or maybe if you have your housemates where you stay at rest, you can just like. Um, go and buy those things that are in bulk that like you buy them less when they are in bulk and then you separate the money it helps that way because you are buying certain things cheaper rather than buying them with the original price you need to start saving a uh, small or re be realis reli re realistic realistic Be realistic when you are saving up or start saving small. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that in such a way that like you need not to go high but you need to start small. Maybe you can start saving 50 rand a month or 20 rand a month. It will help you a lot because if you going to start with 500 rand, 500 rand it's too much it's a lot it's just gonna like weigh on your shoulders you're going to feel like you're just not saving up at all you know you're going to feel like you're just cheating yourself on certain things so i kind of feel like you need to save up in such a way that like you know that like you won't even feel like you are taking money away from yourself even if it starts with 100 rand or 50 rand that's enough just make sure that you save because you will never know maybe your savings they can go up to six years ten years and imagine saving 100 rand or 50 rand a month how much would will you make when it's 10 years or six years it's a lot so another thing that you can do you need to start a, a, a side hustle yeah can be either selling or it can be either um selling services or it can be either um finding a part-time job yeah so the more you are not relying only on your source of income but you also have other source of income it's much more easier to save that money because you know that your main source of income covers everything from your needs to your wants so the moment you have another source of income another money that's coming in it's much more easier for you to save that money 
another thing you need to live within your means you need to understand how much money are you getting a month you just need to understand your situation you just need to be that person who lives according to how much are you receiving a month and how how like your lifestyle needs to match or like you need to live within your means in such a way that like you don't have to buy expensive things you don't have to spend your money on expensive things whereas you cannot afford those things you need to go for things that you can afford and you need to to live according to what you can afford so it will be easier for you to have money that you are able to save because you are not always buying things that are way out of your lifestyle or your means or out of your source of income as soon as you get paid you need to cover your bills it's important that you cover your bills your grocery your needs those are the basic things that you need to cover up before you can do anything because if you won't pay your rent but you just go and buy other things it's going to be difficult for you to save up because you'll end up only having that money to 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 to, to for rent or for your bills so it's important that you start with your bills either maybe you have your transport bills your rent bills phone bills you need to cover all those bills first before you can do certain things and it will be much more easier for you to save up that money that is left so the last thing that you can do don't starve yourself while you are saving you know make sure that like you save according to what you can save according to your means make sure that you don't save to a point where you even feel like you know what i don't know why i'm doing this you don't even feel like you don't see the need of saving up money so make sure that you save in such a way that like it covers all your bills and your means and it's just a real real realistic Oh my gosh that weird it's it's something that you can do something that's doable okay yeah so i hope this video was very helpful to you if you did like this video please don't forget to leave me a like and a comment and subscribe down below it's free of charge you don't pay for anything if you are subscribing to this channel